Hello there, it's UD from the dark side. Welcome to our video. Today we're back playing Pokemon Insurgents. Last episode, we did a whole bunch of story stuff. We were supposed to fight Lugia, but I think the randomizer had some other plans, so instead we ended up fighting like a Mega Mill Tank. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, since the last episode, I didn't do much. I'm just checking out my team for a little bit. Probably have to replace Rock Climb since it's extremely useless. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there isn't anything to, uh, to actually talk about right now. Uh, we also did a bunch of Pokeball things. We also did um, mess up on Arceus. Sadly, couldn't couldn't catch him. It's been too short since last time. Yeah, we have to wait like 30 minutes. But that's all right. I'm pretty sure it is 30 minutes. Yeah, it should be 30 minutes. Anyway, I'm gonna go do one single random encounter in the beginning of this video. Check what we get. See how how our luck today is going. Cause my luck lately has been very very bad. And we got ourselves Do Duo. You know, I'm happy with that. I feel like my luck is good today. I did catch a shiny Crabrara, like not too long ago in in Ultra Sun and Moon, like not too long ago. So that was pretty fun. Um, so we have Sonata City. Did we finish the gym? I think we did finish the gym. Let me just check my trainer card one second. Yes, we did. There is the little heart badge. That's the fairy type gym. Perfect. All right, so let's check the map real quick. Let me just check it out real quick here. So we're here. We need to go up. Oh, yeah, because of the story. Yes. Uh, we need to go up to the hospital which the gym leader is supposed to be taking care of, right here, next to the Pika Taxi guy. Is there any trainers here? No, it's just Sonata Hills. Ah, look at that, there is trash everywhere. What does this say? Uh, Sonata Hills, a place of rest. Oh yeah, it seems to be a lot of trash here. For now, at least. Probably someone's gonna come clean it up soon. I wonder if I can actually fish here. I think I can. Hold on, let me try. I wanna check, I wanna check. Can I fish? Do I have my super rod set to anything? Uh, deselect, and then I'll put the super rod register to Q. Thank you. Not even a nibble. Try again. Oh, bye. Pokemon's on the hook. Let's see what we got. A Fletchender. That sounds like a clink. I have no clue. Oh, what's up with you, dude? There's trash everywhere. It's both a home for early and six. Beautiful, serene place. Okay, so she's trying to take care of this place as hard as she can. You can see it's not going that well, but come on. You can't judge her. Ooh, hidden item. Upgrade. I don't think that's going to be that useful for me. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, I've never been down here? I've never been down here before. Is that a Litwick? Pokemon seems very hungry and weak. You don't seem to have any food in its interest. Maybe come back with a certain type of berry. Oh, so this is where Delta Litwick is. Oh, I've never actually been down here. I I've never actually been to this item right here. This is the first time I've, I've been up here. So that's pretty cool. So there was a Delta Litwick just, just randomly there. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go inside this place. Doesn't seem much like a hospital, honestly. Yeah, but there is no power in this place. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way to the top floor, I think. And inside this place, is it? Is this the place? The man is asleep in his bed. Uh, there is... Nothing? I know where I'm supposed to go to actually get the story going, but all I know is there is a whole bunch of cool items here, which I am gonna be grabbing, um, hoping that I'd get something cool. Ooh, there's a person here. With a TM. Smackdown! You know what? I'll take that. Smackdown is not that bad. Um, can I teach it to anyone, though? Because I might find it a little helpful now, because we don't have many rock type moves. Smackdown. Ah. No one can learn it. No one, no one important, at least. I was hoping that Garchomp might be able to learn it. 
Oh, the, down here, maybe? Pretty sure I have to go to the basement. Because uh, I need to turn the power back on. Ah, it's that guy. It's the, the perfection call. Okay. So they're talking about something that's happening in here. There is something... Something wrong with the guy on the first on on the top floor, who's supposed to be Harmony's father, and who we just saw by the way. We saw him. He was lying in bed, and um, he was just asleep. So it seems that he, he's sick, basically. And they're trying to find a way to heal him. And they say, "Oh, we have a way to heal him, but it's a little risky." And so they'll try it anyway, and we'll see what happens now. Alright, here we are. Basically, they're gonna help him by giving him this shot of this vial, and then he should be fine. Um, but she's worried about what happens, you know. Blah, blah, blah. They got some stuff from Deoxys, who's supposed to be a very good Pokemon with high DNA uh, properties. Like, that he can change stuff from DNA stuff. I don't know. He's the DNA Pokemon. Isn't he? Isn't Deoxys? I cannot remember, honestly. Anyway, he's very cool, he's very he's very rad, he's very swag. They're gonna grab his DNA and inject it in his father, and, and yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, okay, bye-bye, Damien. Oh, he can walk, what a miracle. He's awake. Oh no, he's transforming. Blah blah blah. He looks a bit like Deoxys. He's transforming into Deoxys. That's not good. Oh no, Damien. No, Damien. Don't get kidnapped. Oh no. That's a big oh no. Oh. Now, I guess we have to go grab Damien. He just kidnapped him, and her father is lost. And now her father, stuff, blah, 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 sickness, pokerus, blah, blah, blah. You want to experience the story? It's a good story, I can assure you. Go down to the description and play the game for yourself. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure to find our friend. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay. Alright, so I have to go somewhere to the next gym. If anything interesting, by the way, I'll just I'll just come back to you. I'll just edit all this stuff out, cause well, I don't think y'all want to watch me go through this place just random walking. You know, I'll battle this trainer. I I don't feel like going down there. There we go, Calper City. This is where we had to go. Very cool. This is where the next gym is. I'm pretty sure this one is. Is it a steel gym? Like a steel slash electric gym? I am not really sure. Um, uh, by the way, I don't think it's actually her boyfriend at all. And yes, now from now seeing this pipe, it does actually seem like this might be the steel gym. And so, yeah, uh, this is not her boyfriend at all. This is just this is just some girl. Um, okay, she's in her secret lab. Just as I thought, we have to go to the top right. Next to them, if I go into the gym, they'll tell me, oh, you can't go through the gym because, well, it's empty. She's not even there. A Chatotite. Mega Chatot. It's kind of cool, not gonna lie, but I don't know if anyone's gonna actually use that. Alright, so she's gonna be in her secret uh, lab right here. That's not very secret, you know? Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm a challenger. You're Anastasia. She's she's electric slash steel type. Yeah, the perfection cult is trying to get you so that you do some stuff. I'm not sure what. Oh god, it's raining. As we saw, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but we got into Mailstorm Nine, or no? I, we, there is no rain in Mailstorm Nine, but there was rain on the path towards there before we actually got there. And there is Audrey with her Lugia. 
I don't know if it's a Lugia, honestly. Uh, anyway, she's trying to summon a Kyogre, and you all know what happens whenever you try and summon Kyogre. The, the entire place gets uh, filled with rain. Um... So yeah, I, she's, she's like, oh yeah, I've always had a feeling about you when I just saw you. I know I just met you, but you seem like you have a good look on yourself. Here's a scuba gear, go kill her. Basically, that's what that's that's the plot. So, right now I have to go through all this rain, go back to Mailstorm 9, and um, get rid of all this rain by defeating her and Kyogre. Uh, I don't think this is going to be that hard, honestly. I think I'm still overleveled. But it's still kind of scary to know what Pokemon she has, because she might have some seriously sick Pokemon. Now, here we are in Mailstorm 9. Actually, there is no rain here, which is kind of weird. Like, this is supposed to be like the ocean. There is supposed to be a lot of rain here, but oh well, what can you do? Anyway, put the scuba, uh, scuba, scuba gear on. And there is these random Pokemon. These are just wild Pokemon. Like this hair across that's underwater, definitely normal. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm gonna be trying to see what these Pokemon are. Like this Whalemer, who's supposedly a Delta Noibat. Okay, and one last Pokemon who's a Relicanth, apparently. Let's see what you are. And you are a Ditto. It's kind of cute. I'll, I'll kill you. There we go. That was a crit. The poor Ditto. Sorry, Ditto. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go inside this cave. Then after we get in, we see that it's completely empty. But actually, there's a patch of light here. So, we go here. We click the use key, and boom. The Abyssal Base. Perhaps only a member can get in. Ah, oh, yes. And if I do remember correctly... That's not the button. That's not the button. There we go. We got the Abyssal Cultist uh, from from Damien last time, which is cool. A blue flute. What does the blue flute do? It's in the it's in the medicine bag, so it's just to heal. Uh, it's Melody Awakens single Pokemon from sleep. Okay, cool. That's fine. All right, we have to go through the Abyssal base. Ooh, a lava cookie. Also, all the trainers here are gonna fight you. Don't think that, oh, because you're disguised, they're not gonna fight you. They're actually gonna fight you now. Because they're like, hey, we should train, yeah. Which is kind of cool, not gonna lie. But still, it's annoying. Payapa Berry. Cool, cool. Ooh, that's a mandatory trainer right there. Let's go. One battling me. We Abyssal Cultists have to stay in practice. See, that's what, that's what I meant. They just have to practice all the time. Which is completely fine. Now, usually they'd have water type ish Pokemon, but of course it's a randomizer, so. Yep, that's a that's a fire type right there. I'm not gonna even bother fighting him like this. Oh, is this the place? Yes, that is the place. The jaw fossil? We'll take that. And you. Abyssal scientist clothing. That's good. Then that's the PC where we have to put the password to unlock something. Cryogonite, that's for a cryogonal. Um, logging on, logging on successful. Oh. Chocolate. <laughs> password isn't correct. Yeah. Control system. Uh, hold on, can I talk to Mew? And change to the scientist right now, thank you. So right now I just have to go back to, to where I came from. Um, and um, go to the science research, for, uh, research facility and then just tell them to give me the password because, you know, I just f conveniently forgot it because, you know, I'm a scientist. It just happens. I have so much knowledge inside that big brain of mine. Oh, here we are. Now, I think I can go through here. Yes, yes, I can because I'm a scientist. Cool. I'm going to also grab your items, please. I would love that. Razor Fang. Cool, cool. And I think that that is pretty much it. There's nothing else to do here. Green shard, that's super useless. What's inside here? Nothing. What's inside this? Let's... Please, excuse me. Okay, we can actually use that. Okay, you. Okay. Oh. I guess we have to talk to this guy then. 
Okay. Password of the week. Pretty sure it's Proteus. Next time I remember. Okay. Okay. Proteus. We'll remember that. And then I'm pretty sure we have to go and transform once more inside that place. Ooh, which which way did I come from again? <laughs> oh no. Nope, I think it's it's the other way. Pretty sure it's this way. So Proteus. Let's hope I don't forget, because my brain do be do be the big dumb sometimes, so I just do the forget. And yes, the English is very good right now. Guys, please, it's like 5 a.m. Ah, yes, there we go. Now the sewers are here, but thankfully, we can use Seed Flare, and that will purify all the water. Now, if I do remember correctly... Nah, that's not how it works. Or maybe they fixed it, because I remember you can go left to right, and then you'll be able to see the, the actual sewage place again. No things lying on the table. Uh, now we can become Audrey. Now, um, not that, this button. Uh, Dark Red Cultist, Audrey, there we go. Now I'm Audrey. There we go, thanks Mew. Now I can go back. Alright, there we go. There's the PC here, and there is the purple place. We have to be Audrey to be able to get inside here. Now, there is going to be a battle right after this, so I am going to give everyone some good old healing with some super potions, because I have a crap ton of them. Oh. Everyone's pretty much healed. Alright then. We're fine. Okay, nothing's through, the, nothing's through here. Here we are. And there's Kyogre. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 oceans unexplored, there is Kyogre, you're gonna wake him up, he's gonna be the big man, he's gonna join you, because, you know, that's apparently what legendary Pokemon do, because th they're nice? I have no clue anymore. But, he's gonna join you, and you're gonna fight me, and you're gonna make the ocean everywhere, because there is so much things in the ocean, like big, scary monsters. And, and lots of undiscovered Pokemon, which you know what, it kind of makes sense, but I just really don't care. Can we just get this over with so I can defeat you already, and then we can just move on, because like, you know, I don't really care that much about the ocean or the ground. Thank you. Abyssal Cult Leader Audrey, here we go. Alright, Sir Viper. That's a bad start. He's poison type, pretty sure. Maybe poison and dark? Ooh, coil. I don't like that. Oof. It's a lot of boosted stats. Bone meringue. Oh, you're not surviving that. Oh, two times only? Oh, well, he's dead. Actually, no, she's gonna... Is she gonna full restore it? No, she's not. And I just miss. Alright, makes sense. I guess she doesn't have any full restores because she's supposed to have two legendary Pokemon right now. Snivy. Uh, yeah, she's supposed to have two legendary Pokemon, which are um, Lugia and Kyogre. I'm pretty sure, at least. What should I defeat Snivy? Oh, yeah, uh, Ampharos has Signal Beam. I can just Mega Evolve it and boost its stats and use Signal Beam on Snivy. Except... Okay, it's not a Delta Snivy. Thank God. I'm pretty sure she also has a Mega Evolution still, so we're gonna have to look out for that. Snivy's faster than Ampharos, holy crap. Sheesh, Ampharos, you're slow. But you do pack a punch. Camerupt, definitely change, because that thing's ground type. Um, Camerupt, ground and fire, so Lucario should do well. The Delta one. Bone Meringue. Oh, that's her Mega Evolution? Ooh. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Can hit him once more? Ah, only two times. Eruption? Oh, we're fine. You're low on health. There we go. Nice. Eruption does more damage the... The less your... The more your health is. And so we were fine. Alright, then we have... What was it? Skip Loom? Skiploom is flying type, I think. So, Thunderbolt should do normal damage. Yo, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> it's dead. That bishop looks sick. Holy crap. 
Wow. Oh, I used bounce. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, it's faster than me. This should do neutral damage. Aw, oh, focus sash. Oh, it was paralyzed. It's dead. There I go. Nice. Thanks, RNG. Gothorita is the last thing, which is a psychic type. I don't know if it has the dark type with it, but I sure as hell know it's a psychic type. Yep, it's it's pure psychic. Dark pulse. It's it should die immediately because high special. Yep. There you go. That was the battle. There you go. Not bad. Yes, I am very good. I'm big gamer. Yes, epic epic Pokemon trainer. Ah, oh, there he is, the Mr. Deoxys. Oh, so uh, there was an Alakazam which put the shields up, which uh, make you only get in if you're like that specific person. Like, I had to be Audrey to get in here. So, her Alakazam is now fainted. I'm guessing he just killed it. <laughs> no, 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 no. He didn't make it faint. He just killed it. <laughs> okay, so basically he's transforming into like a Deoxys hybrid. Um, he stole Damien. Damien's her son, by the way. Um, but they just didn't know. They never knew that uh, that it was her son. Um, I mean, she knows that he's his, he's her son. And Damien... Does Damien know that she's his mother? I am not sure. Anyway, Kyogre is waking up now, so we're gonna have to go through this again. I'm gonna skip it. Oh no! Nothing. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. I don't have to skip anything. Anyway, Kyogre is mad because she trapped him, and then uh, he's gonna pick her up, throw her in the water, and go with her. Bye bye, Audrey, and bye bye, Kyogre. No one's catching them anytime soon. Uh, except after the game is done, you can actually catch Kyogre because you have to go find her. Uh, you're gonna have to go save her. Damien's gonna call you. He's gonna be like, hey man, listen, uh, uh, mommy's hurt. Uh, she's drowning. Please send help. Lugia's there. And then it'll be like, okay, fast. And then I get over there. You can catch Kyogre. He comes with a tentacle. So, if you want to shiny hunt Kyogre, you will have a 50 50 chance of getting a shiny, either a Kyogre or a tentacle. First time I shiny hunted Kyogre, I got. A tentacle, and I'll I'll put the picture on screen right now. I accidentally got a shiny tentacle, and that was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. But thankfully, like just two hours later, I was al already over full odds. Uh, but like I was like at five thousand or something, even though this is one of one out of four thousand ninety six. Just like two hours later or something, I got the shiny Kyogre again, which is sick. So very cool. You beat Audrey? Yes, yes I did. Just be Audrey. I am such a pro gamer. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Yeah, Damien will save him. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. Thank you. Oh? Oh, yeah! That's the other antagonists. One down. Only four more to go. Bwah ha ha. My mistress will be most pleased. Earth, it's almost time to come back to the mirror. Cool, cool. So that's basically uh, basically like a mirror cult or something like that. Um, so we just have to take care of that. Oh, and are we back here? Are we back in Capcom City? Are we? It looks like we are. Is our our Pokemon healed? And eh, they're not even that damaged. I wanna I wanna just switch out Lucario with Ampharos because I think I'm still in I'm still in Sonata City, so I can actually use the Capcom right now. Right, yes, yes I am. I remember this guy. There it is. Participate, yes. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's see what we get. I'm hope- <laughs> I've never gotten a shiny out of this, even though it is a very, very high um, chance. Uh, considering the normal one, but still. And we got ourselves... A red one. So it's an item. Can it be something cool? Like, maybe... Um, Mega Lucario's Evo Stone, maybe, please, maybe? A Meadow Plate. That's not too bad. I like that. But we don't have a Grass-type Pokemon to use it on, sadly. Oh well, what can he do? Anyway, I've been recording for way too long. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I, I, I spent too long on um, the puzzle over there, because I just for forgot where I came from all the time. It happens to me every single time I record this video. 
Uh, but, um, yeah, I spent too long over there. So right now I'm just going to end the episode here. So thank you everybody for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe, really like, uh, subscribe and leave a like down below. Y'all know that I can barely talk myself. So please don't judge. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to experience the story for yourself, go down in the description and download the game. Because it's amazing. There's a good community. They have a Discord. You can play there, ask questions, uh, fight people maybe. There is, an, there is a way to actually battle players in this, but it's kind of hard. Um... And yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It has a good story, and a, and there's a crap ton, and I mean a crap ton, of stuff that is uh, post story, post end game. When you become the champion, also there is a special mission for finishing the league, uh, the the Pokemon League again, because the second time it's so much harder than the first time. Like on my other uh, playthroughs. I've tried to do it for the second time, and it was way too hard, because they just spam max revives. And their Pokemon are like EV trained, high IVs, very super strong Delta Pokemon. So, good luck with that, guys. See you on the next video. Until next time, take care. Goodbye, everybody. Let's get a good old save here. Quick save. Nice.